So, all right. Um, all right. So I did this. So yes, I'm from Portland, Oregon. I've been climbing for about um, six or seven years, and five years uh, in the open source space. About a year ago, I looked into OpenStreetMap, and I want I wanted to make a map of in all the climbs in the USA. But uh, to my surprise, there are like, very little data in OpenStreetMap when it comes to rock climbing. I went over to Europe, and voila, there are a lot of data. So, um, but then I wanted to, as a you know technical person, I can log in and edit. It's, it's still a learning curve to edit, um, to contribute to OpenStreetMap let alone my rock climbing friends, you know, telling them to log in, use the ID editor would be a very difficult task. Um, so in this talk, I will talk about the app that I'm working on, um, hoping to make it easier for my friends and all the rock climbers to add data into OpenStreetMap. And um, yeah, I just want to say that it's super informal. If you feel free to interrupt me if you have questions and uh, um, yeah and also I see that there are a lot of there are two other open street map related talk after me so I won't go into too much detail the on the technical side so this is what I've done last year I query um, open street map I want to get all the objects that are attacked with that sport equals climbing tag and as you can see there are a lot of them in Europe and like USA we have about uh, 200 probably so um, let's, um, so I want to uh, set up a personal mission to change that um, well thankfully I'm not working out of a vacuum because there are several uh, websites and forums where I can look up all the information about the climbs. So they are very fragmented. Uh, one web website um, this is really good, it's called Mountain Project. Um, you can look at the website, you can browse the, the site, but you cannot bulk download. You know, as, a, as a computer person, I wanted to write an API. I want to make my own maps, and it's not possible. The license is kind of unclear what I can and cannot do with the data so uh, yeah so it's a, it's, it's a it's a journey so the uh, the app that I'm working on um, the first I guess goal that I wanted to do is to aggregate the climbing data from couple websites into one and then put them into OpenStreetMap and then add some sort of search capability so you can search you know like when you if you use Airbnb you go to Brussels you want to narrow your search to a radius filter by price range I like to do something like that for a climbing app and yes, another thing I want to mention is by having this app, it, hopefully it will simplify how people would input data into OpenStreetMap. And most importantly, I would like to give people the ability to download the data. Um, you can go directly to OpenStreetMap um, if you know how to use the REST API, the overpass. Or if you want a climbing Pacific API, that's where my project hopefully will make it easier. And so just a summary, I'm going to talk about one technical challenge that I um, have to deal with when working on this project, and then one non-technical challenge, which is how to convince the community to you know, contribute. So it's just a quick high-level overview. Um, the web app is uh, Liftlet and React.js. And back end, I have a, a REST API in Flask, SQL Alchemy. 
the usual suspect, and the uh, PostGIS database, uh, mobile apps in, uh, in progress. So as you can see, you have OpenStreetMap over there, and you have a, my database over here, you know, while having two. So I'm, I envision the database is going to be like a staging area where people can input and edit. And then once it passes you know, community validation, we can push them into OpenStreetMap. Um, I'm debating, should I do that in, in OpenStreetMap? I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out. I mean, I follow the mailing list and the pros and cons and of that approach. So before I go on further, let me define what climbing data is. So if you climb, you rock climb, you probably have heard people talk about beta. So beta is, um, yeah, if, if rock climbing routes are git repos, you know, beta would be the readme file. You know. So first and very important piece of data is, of course, the location. Where is the climb? Where is it? And you know, what are all the climbs next to it? And then another piece of pieces of information are you know, the difficulty, how hard is the climb, where all the holes are, what kind of equipment you need to bring with you, is this dangerous or loose rock you need to watch out for, how long is the climb. Yeah, it's very subjective. It's, um, some people refuse to read this. They just want to go on and climb and kind of enjoy the adventure themselves. And some people love to read it. Like, like engineer, where sometimes we read manuals, sometimes we just go straight to using it. So my app, I would, oh, sleep. And the third piece of data is like personal anecdote story. I have climbed it before. I didn't like it, or I love it. And then discussion about that climb. So I would like to focus on the first part, which is where the climbs are, because there are many websites that are dealing with the second and the third point. Yeah, everyone, good. So, how do I model the climbing routes and wall? and then multiple walls in OpenStreetMap. I'd like to show you some photo. This is a climbing area in my, near my hometown, Smith Rock. As you can see, climbs are next to one another. And then if you look at it on the map, um, they are this one long cliff. From a mapper point of view, it's the, just a cliff. But from a climber point of view, they are two separate sections. You know, the red section, the blue section, they name differently, they organize differently. So that's something I need to keep in mind. And then if you zoom out the whole area of uh, the climbing area, you can see that there are multiple sectors. And then within a sector, you can have another sector so they can have multiple nested um, level. And the, the outermost area is what I would call a climbing destination. So I would I say I go to Catalonia, Spain. That's like the climbing destination. And then in Spain, I would have multiple sub areas. So <laughs> let's get back to OpenStreetMap. Um, so I need to define a climb, a wall, and then the sector. So the climb, self-explanatory, it's I use the uh, you open street map note object, which is a single point. Um, keep in mind some there's some proposal in open street map where people suggesting that I mark the start of the climb and the end of the climb. There um, it can be a challenge when the climb is very vertical, so you would have the start and the end on top of another. So I would save that for the future. For now, it's just a single point. 
And then to represent a climbing wall, I use um, ways, which is a series of ordered, a list of notes. All right, and then how do I model a, like a group of walls or sector, group of climbs? Um, one way is to use a closed way, but I found out pretty soon that it's uh, not intuitive to use an open street map. Um, you can't not just simply draw a polygon and save it. Um, there's a lot of issue with that. Let's say there's a, there's a path that goes this way. I can't just draw a polygon over it. I have to connect my polygon to the path and then continue. So imagine there's a map of the park. There would be many paths and objects. I cannot just draw my polygon on top. So I choose to go with relation. So relations is another um, um, data element in OpenStreetMap that allows you to model, to group, to logically group um, nodes or ways or other relation together. So. Um, So relation it is. All right. So this is a photo of my friend Manny. He's hanging on the rope and looks like he's smoking a cigarette, but no, he just drilling a hole in the rock and then he has to blow out the dust in the rock before he can put the, the bolt in. So it's a, it's a labor intensive work and it's a labor of love. He put a lot of time and effort into this. So what happened after this, he would find out the location of the climb and he would share that with someone in his local community. And that person might go on the Mountain Project website and submit it. And then all the people can view it. But as a GIS, you know, enthusiasts, I cannot just go and bulk download all of the work that people have put in due to, you know, unclear license. Um, so yeah, what the point I want to make is, um, you know, the technical challenge can be overcome. You know, there's stack overflow and internet and it's not too bad, but to convince the community that to open up all your data, put them in open street map, is uh, it's a uh, uphill battle. So, I just put the chicken and egg there. The classic problem. My app is brand new. I have little data. How do people go to contribute? And then, if, but if I have more data, people might contribute. So I, my goal again, I like to simplify the data entry so that they can go into OpenStreetMap. Um, and secondly, I want to see OpenStreetMap with correct data. By that, I mean I actually hoping to scrape. Okay, terrible. I'm going to scrape the Mountain Project website and negotiate with them, convince them to open up their data. So I have people have data to work with, and then they can continue to improve it. I have six minutes. Um, Yes, so um, yeah, I realize changes won't happen overnight, and uh, just keep sharing and listening to the community's, community's feedback. And this one example of many of the things you can do with open data in rock climbing. For example, I, I scraped the data from that Mountain Project website and built a heat map of all the climbing walls in the eastern part of, sorry, the western part of the USA. Um, you can, for example, you can uh, correlate this data with, hey, where, I'm a rock climber, where should I move to? Obviously, people would love to go to Denver or Boulder, where all the climbs are, or uh, California, where Yosemite is. Um, or you can do cool things like, oh, you know, the craft beer consumption 
on top of this, or on, on a more serious note, you know, the outdoor retailer industry can map how people spend money in proximity with the climbing area. So this is the end. Uh, I have stickers. You want stickers? The projects on GitHub. I would love to hear your ideas. Uh, pull request. I want to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have, you have, I have time for a queue. Any questions? Yes. I just, yes, so you, your question was whether I wanted to map absolute and relative yeah. location. I'm bringing that up to explain what beta, it's a, it's a, a lingo in rock climbing, to, to tap when you look for a climb, you want to know where it is or what's around it. But to map the climbing route, I would just map the climb itself. And then just to show them in relation to all the climbs. And you have a question? The oh, oh, sorry. No, uh, um, I was doing something like, like that. I was uh, scrubbing the web page 8A don't end don't know you. Yes, know yes. That. And I don't want all the data on the, because they have a lot of waypoints mm -hmm. that crack. Mm -hmm. And my point was more like doing the map and so the weather and the climbing rates and filter by climbing rates and where is the, you can climb the summer or winter or whatever. And it makes more or less the same. I have a React JS application, but it's broken right now. Yeah. And a backend with a PHP. I don't know all the data. Yeah. I don't know the license, so maybe. Yeah. So please, yeah, please send me an email. I would love to uh, yeah, talk to you more about it. Yeah. yeah. Because I have done Google Maps. So yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Think one, one more. Do you know the application Street Complete? Yes, I heard of it. Yeah, 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 good point. And one uh, important point for the data is what, what we have missing is, for example, Germany, we have breeding times for birds. And during that time, there are some rocks who are, where uh, you are not prohibited to climb. Right. And that's an uh, extremely important information to have that. Yeah, that right. So should I keep that in my data set or defer that to the other website? Like. Yeah, okay. Like store hours, should I keep the store hours in my data set or? Okay, I'll think about that. Thanks. Good information, I think, to have yeah. Okay, closure. Is, is it open or not? Can I true, true. It? Yeah, in my area, there are some um, eagle nesting, mm -hmm. so we've forbidden to climb, you know, like half of the year for the eagle to nest. Yeah. So. There are also certain yeah. routes that are just for trap climbing, and some routes with bolted, condition of the bolts, or some right. information that. So if I'm going somewhere, I need to know whether that's exactly. the pad, and then I need to bring a lot of different equipment. Yeah, so I'm thinking of more like a wave app. You know, when you see traffic jam, you can hit traffic jam. So it's just like a foundation where people, hopefully, people can be on top of. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. That works really well, and for each route, a lot of yeah, so I'm, true. I'm hoping to focus in the U.S. and once I get that going, I can <coughs> see I can negotiate with them and, you know, scrap their data or might ask them nicely, download. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you.